Upon visiting the Hydrogen Modeling Tool website, users are presented with this welcome screen. The welcome screen provides an overview of the functionality, the purpose of the tool, as well as some of the limitations. Upon reading the information, they can click Agree to access the tool. Further information about the tool can be found in the About button here, or information on how to use the tool can be found in the Help section. These can be clicked on and read at their leisure, or you can close the information when you finish reading it. All users have the ability to explore the maps and South Australia and the data layers that have been loaded into this tool. This includes ports, renewable energy zones, infrastructure, as well as some of the constraints that have been identified as potential development risks as part of the detailed pre-feasibility study. These can be toggled on and off as users require, and these maps shared or exported via the share and print button. When users are ready to investigate the different supply chain configurations, click on the Scenarios tab, as indicated by the Start Here button. Users will be required to log in with their username and password, which they can obtain from hydrogen at sa.gov.au. Upon entering in your credentials, click Submit, and we're brought to this screen. This presents you an overview of any scenarios that you've already created, and you can visit them again by clicking on the scenario name, the pencil to edit them, or you can delete the scenario. To create a new scenario, click Add New Scenario. When creating a scenario, there are 10 steps to go through, with guidance available at each stage as indicated by the question mark. The first thing to do is enter in a scenario name and a description. At any time, you can save this by clicking the Save button. This will allow you to return to the scenario that you started to create at a later date. If you're ready to continue, click Next. The first selection to make after setting up the scenario is the delivery date and export product. The tool has two delivery date options in 2027 and 2030, which allows to account for planning and development considerations for export scale products. In addition, five options are available for the export product. This could be either a single product or multiple products. Further information is available via the question mark. After selecting the export product, you can select the export volume. Volumes from 10,000 to 250,000 tonnes per annum are available at 20,000 tonne increments. These are indicative volumes based on an assessment of what potential export volumes might be achievable from South Australia. Use the slider to set your volume. Press Next to continue. After selecting the different export product and type and the volume, you have to select the type of hydrogen you wish to produce. This can either be blue hydrogen using steam methane reforming or green hydrogen using electrolysis and renewable energy generation. If blue hydrogen is selected, Certain options will be greyed out as these are not applicable, such as the renewable energy's location. However, you will be presented with an option to choose your gas price and you can set this at a sliding scale. For a green configuration, the options will be available as there's a different choices depending on the configuration. After selecting the type of hydrogen, ports will be available to select. These ports have been pre listed and screened based on the pre-feasibility study outcomes and are ranked in the order based on the expected lowest FOB outcome based on the information entered in the tool so far. Information on each of the ports is available by hovering over the icon and the tool will zoom in to the information and provide an indicative overlay of the port area on the map. After selecting the port, you can choose between the energy source. For green scenarios, you can select between new build, which is the development of new build wind and solar resources, or using the existing grid capacity and securing the electricity via a PPA. If this is the case, you can set a PPA price using the scale. For a new build, there'll be further options at seven and eight to identify the renewable locations. Click next when you're happy with your selection 
and you're presented with the options of the different renewable energy zones. These are highlighted on the map and you can provide further information by highlighting over the names. When you have selected a renewable energy zone, the map will zoom into that location and then you can select the wind and solar mix. These are sorted based on the optimized FOB outcomes to generate the lowest FOB outcome for this selection. Select your proportion of wind and solar. When you've done that, an estimated electricity price will be presented based on the capital costs incurred to develop the necessary resources. If you have an alternative electricity price in mind, you can override this by selecting override here. Following the selection of all of the resources, you'll be navigated to indicate the process facility on the map and an indicative location of all of the production infrastructure at the port. For green sources, you can also amend the capital cost of the electrolyzer plus or minus 20% of the underlying base assumption. This can be done using the sliding scale. When you've selected your appropriate capex, click next. Following all the choices, one through nine, you can then select your required returns. This can either be done at a whole of supply chain level using the choices here, or you can use the detailed settings to select specific configurations for each supply chain element. If you wish to change anything, you can either use the previous or select the options at the top here to go back. As the choices have a downward impact, you may have to make further selections again to step through the other options. When you're happy with your required returns, click next and the tool will generate a report. The tool is calculating all of the information in the background to pull the information together. The report that will be displayed on the screen is downloadable as a PDF and can either be printed or saved. It provides an overview of the choices made, a map of the selection, as well as the overview of the FOB outcomes. This breaks it down by supply chain element, provides you an information on some of the key assumptions and the key cost drivers behind everything. Please download and review this at your leisure. In addition, you can save the scenario by clicking the Save Scenario button to return to this scenario at a later date and run multiple scenarios to test and compare the different outcomes. As you can see, the new scenario is listed here. You can then revisit it, edit it or delete it. We invite you to try out and test many different configurations and explore the opportunities within South Australia.